Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here's an update on the uh, the press. I've actually <coughs> got an old XS650 crank uh, shaft, and when I went to uh, split it, these two beams here were too close together, so that wouldn't fit down in there. So what I've had to do is make make some spaces. Just hold this away from the uh, the uprights a little bit. So now it actually fits down there, which is just what I want really. And uh, before I split these, I didn't have any tooling or anything like that. So I thought I'd uh, knock up a little tiny jig that I can use when I want to split these cranks. And, and I've, I've Oh, there it is. It, it, it is. It is actually an old disc, which sits in there like that. And the crank. No, oh, I've only got. Can't really do this with one end, but that that, that goes in. That goes in there. And it sort of slid in there, and I was able to press the top from the bottom. I'll show you that in a second because I'm just gonna. I've got another one that I need to split and change the uh, change the com rods in. This one, that's already changed that one over. That's a new one in there. I need to change this one out, so I need to split, take this apart, put new bearings in it, which I had a second. Which I had a minute ago somewhere. There you go. New big end bearings to put in it. So, I mean, this is your uh, how to do it around the garage with limited equipment. So, let me set the tripod up and we can. Uh, I'll show you how I've done it. I'll be back. Right, like a twat, I've left my tripod mount, camera mount, uh, around the house and this camera is just balancing on the tripod so if I was to actually knock one of the legs the camera will fall off and that would be end of story for me but I can't be asked to go around the, the house so I'm going to have to be careful here and just show you how I um, line up the, 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 the crank it's really tricky this thing's fucking heavy. Come on, goes through there, and then it sits on there like that. Oh, put it on a little bit more. Right. I need to find a pin, uh, which is a 17 mil. 70 mil long socket, so I haven't got any. Uh, I haven't cut any um, bits and pieces up yet for this. So it's lined it up. Put it out a bit. Right, so right about there. Keep that 
lined up nicely. Once you get a bit of pressure on it, it's all right. Dangerous. Don't try this at home. Ooh, there we go. There we go. It's pushing that pin out now. And let me put me. Uh, put that on the floor. It does jump about when you. Uh, stuff off, put new bits on. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, reverse the process. To reverse the process, I'll, you, I'll show you what I've done. So, hold on a second, I'll just put this down. Put it back together, just as easily. The centre part of that disc so when I want to put it back together, I use the cent center, the center of the disc. alignment tool which I made um, when I put this this part this half this half on I use a little um, bit of two inch angle one I'll see if I can show you that without um, losing the uh, camera off the tripod so it won't be a second Gotta be careful with me, uh, with me uh, tripod. As you can see, I've got the crank resting in a, in a two-inch angle line. So all the uh, all the shells are basically lined up. And what I do to get it started, at least to get it in, going right in the general direction, place that on the on the angle. Now twist it around until it just drops in. So they're all, they're all touching now, so you can't really go wrong with that. And just give it a slight tap just to get it started. I've actually got a copper hammer on order, so um, don't panic. I don't use this all the time. Right, see this? It's got started now. So now we put that back in the press and then press that back down together. Too, too dodgy putting my uh, camera on the tripod and just leaving it there. I don't want it to fall off. But basically that's how we put it back together. We put that on top of the uh, on top of the disc rotor 
so that's in there and then we just press that down and I did have I did have a piece of metal somewhere which I put in between there and I can't seem to find it I'm not sure what I've done with that I have to have a, uh, have to have a look for that and then we'll come back once I've found it well, I couldn't find a bit of metal I was after so we're just going to use a washer for now just to show you getting, getting started Probably it actually. I believe it doesn't doesn't go any further than that. So now we need to true it up. Just take that away. 